Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, there's been some really significant stuff that's been going on there at Yellowstone. Uh, the last eruption at Steamboat Geyser was very short. It was on June 18th, and it only lasted three minutes. I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. Let me come down to these other eruptions. Yeah, 15 minutes looks like it was uh, one of the shortest durations. Yeah, three minutes. What's going on? Is the water drying up? Yeah, and then there was an earthquake, which shows there's been uplift. A magnitude 3.6. 39 people reported feeling this earthquake. That was about three hours ago. Um, according to Central Daylight Time, it's currently 1034 a.m. And they do not have a moment tensor ball. But here we got one response from Kelly. Uh, Jackson had one. 22 in Wilson. Yeah, it looks like uh, another two reports from Jackson. Uh, the initial pressure went west. Another five reports from Jackson. One there. Um, Ulta, one. And um, Moran, one. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Yeah, rivers and streams often follow along fault lines. I bet it woke those people up if they were home. Looks like we got two homes here. IRIS swarm. Here's that earthquake, the 3.6. And there's its signature. Yeah, look at that. We'll look at the uh, signature. Looks like we got another small one afterwards. Uh, there we go. And yeah, someone's mowing the lawn outside. This is what it, the... Uh, Spectrogram was showing when I pulled the files this morning. Up here you can see we got the thickening of the lines. Magma coming into the system. Now this monitor, there's another earthquake at 546, which is not being reported. There's its signature. This monitor here is from a borehole, a very deep well under the ground at Yellowstone Lake. And those of you that follow me will know let me show you. It's up here in this location. And this is Elephant Back Mountain. And you can see the fault lines that run through here. And the monitor is up here. Here we have the monitor for Mary Lake. Here's the signature as it came in there. And we'll look at the spectrogram. Yeah, a lot more significant. Uh, you can see the hot gases that came up. And we got another earthquake right there at 12.54. That's universal time. Another at 4.28. I guess I should show you the signature. This one here probably came um, from Sawtooth uh, Mountain Range. It's got a P wave on it. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. So let's go to Mary Lake. Way up over there in the north. And I'll pull this out for you. The red lines is the uplift that I've measured out that um, the ground has shown since uh, 2015. And then way down here is at 3.6. Yeah. It was probably larger than a 3.6. Most definitely. Here we got 4.04, 4 4.11. Uh, must count down. 3.94, 4.41, 3.94, 4.42, 4.43, 4.14, 4.17, that's all automatic by the computer. Snoking, which is way down south. Um, well, not that far, but it's down 
south 4.42 um, and 4.22. Both of those are Snow King. Uh, kind of near Jackson. Let me show you where Jackson's at. All right. Well, not too far from where this earthquake occurred. This is the town of Jackson. This is that area of the 3.3 earthquake. Um, let me see if I can find Snow King. Oops. Snow King Mountain there in Wyoming. Oh, it's not far from Jackson. Well, that's Snow King Mountain Resort. Yeah, sometimes Google's a little stupid. Okay, Snow King Mountain. Right there. And that's where the other monitor comes from. Now, I have repeatedly showed you how USGS loves to downgrade these earthquakes. Um, if people don't report them and if they can get away with it, they will. The farther the monitor is away from the source of the earthquake, the smaller it would show. Now, this 3.1... Um, that was December 30th of last year. So once again, this is the monitor from Mary Lake, which is north of Yellowstone Lake, and the different significant, or not significant, they were uh, very minor, minor earthquakes. Look at the signature, because I'm pretty sure that one came from Sawtooth. And you can see we got the thickening of the lines. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the file. Oh, we just had another earthquake come in. And that's fairly significant. Yeah, it's coming in right now here on the monitor. This one here is Mary Lake, uh, Yellowstone Lake, and up here is Norris Junction. That's the one I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull this file and add it to the one for Norris Junction. Uh, Mary Lake is a lot more significant. Maybe I should pull that one first. Yep, coming in right now. Let's take a quick peek at the live web camera. Here we got Old Faithful. And I wish it could zoom in to see this other spot that's steaming. USGS does not have it reported yet. Still probably analyzing it. Oh, they had a 7.3 there. In Mexico, USGS says it was a 7.4. EMSC right now is saying it's a 7.3. They're definitely going to have damage there. Right along the area where we got the Middle American thrust. Yeah, and it's uh, the plates moving uh, north here. I want to come out because I have covered this a little bit about these different tectonic plates. They got another small plate here um, that causes a lot of damage for up in this area, which would have been um, uh, the Mazatan. Uh, no, no, excuse me. Anyways. Yeah, where is it? But you'll remember that one plate that I talked about, those that have been following me. Yeah, I am sure they got damaged. Those poor people. Yeah. And there's going to be aftershocks, of course. But anyways, yeah, sending prayers to you guys. So far, 37 people are reported feeling it, but as you can see, it's just now coming in. There's its signature. All right, here's the monitor for Mary Lake. And, okay, now it's working. Okay, there's the signatures that came in there. This is that earthquake in Mexico. Yeah, it made the earth ring like a bell. Let me go back to uh, the other one, see if I can get it open. All right, here we have the monitor for Norris Junction.
definitely has been an increase in earthquakes around the world, hasn't there? So this is a monitor for Mary Lake. Here we got for Yellowstone Lake. Here we have it for Norris Junction, and I'll pull it over for that other earthquake, which was definitely a 4.0, if not stronger. Here we have the tilt meter for Norris Junction for the last seven days. Um, X is north. Um, it'll either show subsidence or uplift for the area. And when you see dots like this, it means there was an earthquake that made the ground breathe. All right, for the last seven days. Each dot here on the disk is an earthquake that caused either uplift or for the ground to drop. Last 30 days. And I talked about how Norris Junction looked like it was dropping. And it's changing direction, the magma under the ground. Panther, which is up by the Montana border. Top is north, bottom is east. It's definitely rising there. And the last seven days, the last 30 days, look at the uplift that's been going on. Now, going back to 2010 when they started monitoring uh, the eastward uplift, yeah, look at this. Um, they evidently reset the machine or did something during this time. Definitely have uplift in the east. Yeah, the whole area there. Um, up by the Montana border is rising. Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. Top is north, bottom is east, <laughs> lots of dots. Remember, uh, what, two years ago the magma was trying to come up in that area and there was a, a swarm. Yeah, magma naturally wants to rise as buoyant, kind of like a beach ball held underneath the water of a pool or lake, whatever. Each dot is an earthquake in the last seven days. So when the magma finds an area that's weaker, uh, yeah, it just wants to uh, force its way up in that direction. Last 30 days, lots of activity going on Grant. Look at that. Everything is fine. Again, this is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. And Yellowstone Lake is rising. Remember, we got that one resurgent dome um, kind of north of there called the uh, Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. Top is north, bottom is east. Last seven days. And then we'll come down to the last 30 days. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got a bulge going on. While Norris is going down, yeah, Yellowstone Lake is rising. It's the highest uplift, it looks like, since 2008 when they started monitoring the lake. Uh, yeah, I guess there was uh, um, some earthquakes that made the area pop and then it went back down or they reset it. Um, that was in 2014. But look at the uplift that's going on. Uh, top is north and bottom is east. Look at that. Everything's normal. All right, this is the Madison River area, which is up there by Norris Junction. Top is north, bottom is east. Last seven days. All the earthquakes in the last week. Yeah, it just shows they're not reporting them all. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, remember, there this X and Y. They're measuring the direction under the ground that the magma is moving. X is north, Y is east. They only do that for five different volcanoes around the world, and Yellowstone is one that they're monitoring which direction the uh, magma, it's called magma when it's still under the ground, lava when it comes up, yeah, that they're monitoring what it's doing. All right, so let's go back. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, 2011, they started monitoring. Top is north. Bottom is east. The highest uplift that they've had since they started monitoring there at the Madison River area. So the last eruption of Steamboat was only three minutes. Let's review what we got. We have uplift. We have an increase in earthquakes. 
that 3.6, which I believe was at least a 4.0, 45 people have now reported feeling it, and most people don't report feeling these earthquakes. 2020 is definitely a, <laughs> yeah, a very interesting year. So, did you feel this earthquake? Um, the 3.6 or whatever it was. Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.